Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the course, How to Use Zebra HC. This is video 23, and today we're talking about the Diva filters. Yes, you heard me correctly. The Diva filters are inside Zebra HC. So let's go to the display port, right click, go to init preset. And underneath this first oscillator, let's click the cell, and you'll see all these ones that have a D at the beginning. So we have four high passes and we have four low passes. So for example, let's go to DVCF1, and you'll notice nothing popped up on the left hand side like we would normally see. However, these ones are going to be in Diva VCF down over here. So we click this here, and here's where we have our tab for all of our filters for the Diva stuff. So here is going to be the high pass. So we have high pass 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then we have our low pass 1, 2, which is this guy here, and then this guy over here. And then 3 and 4, we click this button down here, and then we have 3 and 4. And it choose the different kinds. So we have VCF1 here, so we want to go to this first button here. And we can choose our model. So we have the ladder, cascade, multimode, byte, and UB, or however, however you pronounce that. So basically, something that I do want to point out is that in the manual, it says because these filters are very CPU intensive, they are mono. So if you ever loaded one of these up and you're kind of wondering why it sounds a little strange, that's probably why. So for example, if we just have a single saw wave kind of going through this filter we're not really going to notice anything right let's give us a little bit more volume here and go back to our diva filter however let's double click this here to disable it and let's go to maybe from single to quad and let's go to the mixer and give it some width here so you have a pretty wide oscillator to start off with here and if we pop this on here it turns it mono. Now that can be fine if you're doing some type of monophonic patch, but sometimes if you want to have a stereo sound, you're kind of kind of stuck in a bind here because you can't really use a filter like you would a VCF or the really any other filters in the uh, synthesizer. So there is kind of a workaround for this. So let's go to right click and init preset. So let's say you have oscillator number one, let's maybe do like a quad or something like that. Oscillator number two, let's select this here on the second lane. Hopefully you know where, where I'm kind of going with this. Maybe go quad as well. And let's give us some width for both sides here. So oscillator one's going down lane one, oscillator two's going down lane two. So what we need to do is pan these left and right, something like that. Let's give us a little less volume here. So we have kind of essentially something very similar. So what we need to do is on oscillator one, click this here, go to the Diva low pass filter one, and then the other one for oscillator number two, we're gonna select number two. So basically we have two oscillators going into two filters that are left and right. Now you might be wondering, okay, we need to control the cutoff and the resonance and things like that. So basically that's where we wanna go into the Diva VCF here. And this is kind of where it comes to however you wanna do it. So let's put these cutoffs all the way up at the top here and we can right click this cutoff, go assign to X1 and then this other cutoff assigned to also X1 because we want the same source controlling both filters. So if we go to X1 here, we can already see that we can do that. <laughs> And then we can do the same thing with the resonance. So go to Diva VCF again, go to the resonance, and this is kind of your choice. You can go to X2 if you'd like to, or you can go to Y1. It really depends how you want to do it, whether you want to go for the performance kind of thing, which we're going to talk about a little later, but I did want to bring this to your attention. So for this example, let's go to X2, and then for the resonance, let's go to assign to X2 right over here. So now we're going to be going back into our XY, so then Y... <laughs> is gonna be our resonance. So we can double click this here, and then we can type in cutoff if we'd like to, and then go over here and type in res if we want to, something like that. So that's kind of the setup that you would probably want to do if you want to use both Diva filters in a left and a right or something like that. And basically the same thing goes for the high passes as well. We have the same thing we have in Diva. So if you're curious how these filters work or how they sound or any of the different modes and stuff, you should check out the Diva course that I did where we go through every single filter in the, uh, in the synthesizer. So hopefully you learned something. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.